Mushrooms grown in containerized loose substrates, such as straw, sawdust, fuel pellets, or cotton seed hulls, are popular on commercial farms as well as for backyard growers. This is usually known as block or bag cultivation and can be a great way to grow mushrooms when growing outdoors is not an option. Most fungi grown by cultivators today evolved in the wild on wood logs. So the goal is to mimic and even enhance the chemical and physical composition of a natural log. However, these synthetic logs don't have the protective advantage of bark, so contaminants that naturally inhabit the loose substrate will flourish once nutrients and water are added. The way to stave off contaminants is to heat or chemically treat the substrate prior to inoculation. This treatment is also known as sterilization or pasteurization. After either sterilization or pasteurization, substrate can be inoculated with grain or sawdust spawn and grown out, contaminant free for eventual harvest. Other factors, such as spawn rate and quality of substrate, can greatly affect success. Almost always, pasteurization or sterilization of substrate leads to the most success and payback, but the lower input methods are a good place to start. While there are other substrates that you can use, two of the most popular and productive substrates are straw and sawdust mixes. Commercial farms fiddle with substrate mixes to adjust for each species' needs and then mechanize the loose substrates when mixing, filling, and inoculation to reduce labor costs. Bags, or containers, of finished substrate are cooked, cooled, and inoculated. Inoculated bags sit at room temperature for a variable amount of time depending on the species. Finally, actual mushroom harvest is almost always done indoors with some climate control. Startup cost, beyond the substrate processing hobbyists do in the kitchen, can be daunting with large, expensive equipment. Starting small is not only rewarding, but is a great way to learn the basics.